Okay, today we're going to talk about uh, a commonly asked question, what is 4x RSI? Well, RSI is short for Relative Strength Index. This was created by J. Wells Wilder Jr. Uh, back in 1978. Uh, he wrote a breakthrough book and that particular book ended up having great things in it like uh, Directional Movement Index, uh, ADX and RSI. Amazingly enough, RSI is still in use today, which uh, just goes to show you that uh, the classics just don't get old. They just uh, they get better with age. Now, the use of oscillators is very common in technical analysis in Forex to identify uh, areas of being overbought or oversold. With RSI, these particular areas are identified as above the 70 line, as we can see here, that bold green line, for overbought, and below the 30 line for oversold. When you're talking about overbought and oversold, you're saying it's moved in this direction, and it is likely that some correction or movement back towards um, the downside area is going to take place and the the opposite is true when it's below here you're looking for some movement to go uh, up from the downside so as you can see here RSI pretty much nailed it here RSI pretty much nailed it as well you would feel comfortable doing that but again remember this is hindsight we're looking at this in hindsight for uh, instructional purposes okay there's the oversold area here so you might be looking to uh, take a buy position go long but again I personally do this with some type of confirmation everyone trades differently some people like to take a bigger risk and kind of jump in early so that they don't miss uh, any chunks of the move personally I'm satisfied to grab the lion's share of the move I don't have to get in at the top or the bottom and neither do you in order for your trading to be extremely profitable there we go and I'm just I'm just picking these areas to show you oscillators oftentimes if you've traded using stochastics or any other oscillator oftentimes you will get an indication of perhaps doing something but the market continues to move opposite of what that indication is that basically means if you take in that trade you'd be on the short side based upon that oversold area you'd be losing money here and for me and many other traders we look for some type of confirmation in the direction so if we're looking to go short here uh, probably wouldn't do it on this particular at the close of this particular day uh, as you can see that particular day we, we're talking about three consecutive days here where we've closed on the high uh, each of those would be uh, green candles uh, I'd be looking for something I see the consolidation here you'd be looking for something uh, as far as a confirmation to the downside and there's nothing really that's telling us that there's any type of uh, serious type of downside action coming along we've got the the indicator the oscillator the RSI here but again the price action is speaking differently when the two align when when you when you see those um, when you see the indicator saying hey we're oversold and you see some interesting break in price action which you actually could do along these lines here with a trend line perhaps uh, and then sell but then you still have you know more action up to this particular point so when you're trading using RSI 
keep a close eye on the price as well. Here's another way that many traders use RSI and it is called divergence. Divergence uh, simply means that y you have two different elements and the direction of those elements is opposite one another. Here we have the price itself of the euro dollar US dollar on the daily chart here moving upward we have the price of the RSI uh, moving in the opposite direction. Uh, what many traders do is they'll look for that divergence and then look for an opportunity to get short. And that could be break of a trend line or what other type of confirmation you use, whatever it might happen to be. Okay, but that's basically what uh, what divergence looks like. You can see in here it does a good job of identifying uh, areas of consolidation here too. Now if you like to grab these moves, which you know, they're profitable, um, uh, you can you know you can go in here and, and grab them. Some of the swing traders might like to do that. Longer term traders would they just probably still be long and continue up this way. Here perhaps they'd be thinking about looking at this as a potential correction in this area. Amazing what the price does, isn't it? How often it can do that. But that's a basic overview of, of RSI and I hope that uh, you have found this useful. Thank you for taking the time to view the Forex RSI video. Have a great day.